hello there, my fellow miners and crafters. Good times. So Scott here bringing you another super awesome Minecraft episode. And in today's episode, we are once again returning to the mother tree and to create the sapling and storage rooms. So we missed our switch, but oh well. <laughs> there we go. We had a little too much speed. I've got to adjust that a little bit. Sorry about that. But yes, we are returning to the mother tree to create our sapling and storage rooms. Now we've almost finished with them. Now if you come down here, if you remember, we created this room here, our plank storage room in the last episode, and we mirrored it off of this one over here. Now in today's episode, we will be making our storage room, our cold storage rooms. So in here we can find our, I believe this will be our leaves room. So, you know, we don't want our leaves and things to decay and spoil. So we have them put in these nice ice blocks for show only, just for show. But I think it looks pretty cool. Then we can go over here and do some work. We've got some nice little plants there and a nice ceiling. You can see we've got snow up here. And yeah, I think it uh, came out pretty nice, I hope. So let's go over here and start our, our new one. So this is, like I said, where we all store our saplings. So we don't want them to spoil or anything after we cut them down before they're planted back into the ground. So let's get started. So we're gonna do a few tricks, like I said in the last episode, to keep from using too many of our iron blocks because that is a lot of iron. I just like the look of it and I spent a lot of time getting enough iron to have some crazy look, but oh well. That's what you do when you love Minecraft and you wanna get a certain look for something. All right, so we'll make this cool floor down here with these half slabs. And for the ceiling, like we showed just a moment ago, we'll do snow, kind of like the kind of the freezer, the cold has created a little frost on the ceiling. I think that'll look pretty cool. So we'll just put the floor here like this. And in today's episode, we are also gonna be talking about a few things. And I wanted to kind of compile a lot of videos I just kind of rumble on about things that I want to see in Minecraft and stuff like that. But I thought I would kind of compile them all in today's episode. Maybe we could talk about that. And let's see. Let's just get a quick idea to make sure we're doing everything correctly. Let's see. Let's see. I believe we are somewhat on track here. So let's come over here. We're going to need to knock that out. And then we'll do this across here. Then I'm going to need to jump back over to the other room for just one second to measure how high the ceiling is. Just to confirm that, make sure we're doing this right. And every time I place one of these blocks, I make a slight whimper about how much iron is in here. <laughs> Eventually, I'm going to probably come down here and knock one of these out just to get some extra iron if I need it. <laughs> All right, so we'll put that there for in a second. Let's just jump over here and count how high our ceiling is. So it's one, two, three, four. Okay. So we're going four high. So let's pop back in here. Place that there so you guys can see what's going on. And look at that. We did it right so far. Amazing. Okay. So we've got our snow. So let's just place that up here. And then we'll make our skylight. Or not skylight, but skylight yeah i guess skylight i guess it's not natural light but our light in the air in a second we'll probably have to knock out the snow to fit it in there we go coming across placing snow blocks on the ceiling only in minecraft can you find this there we go all right sweet now let's see we need to take this wall out right here because we're going to place wool back here to kind of give the impression that it's the iron blocks so we don't have to waste them on that side so we'll get rid of this there we go and grab out our wool place it along here see the wool will give an impression that there is some type of you know kind of white material back there like that but we won't have to use it there we go all right, so now let's grab out our ice blocks and we'll just kind of, whoops, map this out here. Let's see, I want to get to my talking about ideas from Minecraft, but I just want to make sure we get 
this first side kind of measured and proportioned right so we don't make any mistakes. There we go. All right. So let's grab out our containers. There we go. Now it's kind of cool that the I had to double check one more time to make sure that the boxes can open. Their lids do go inside the ice block. Hopefully they don't consider that a bug and fix that <laughs> soon. That might. Oops, we made a mistake here. Let's just remedy that real quick. We need to remedy that real quick. Um, hmm. <laughs> Let's take the snow block and place it up here. We're going to have to leave that top up there. Oops, see that's not going to work because the, the box is going to hit that. So, hmm, let's place that back. Ha, huh. well, I'm going to, I don't know, look at this for a while. We're just going to keep going. And I'm going to see what I want to do about that later. I'm going to leave it the way it is for now. It looks a little hokey dokey, a little sloppy, but I'm going to fix that later. I'm going to try to come up with a better solution. Okay, there we go. So now we need to work on our back wall here. So let's get rid of our dirt. Now ideas. So let's start with craftable things. Now the biggest idea, and I've talked about this in a few videos, is the big sign idea. And the big sign idea, what I talked about a long time ago, was where you would take you would fill in the entire crafting window with signs. And then in the center you would place a piece of dye. Let's see, we need to do wool on the sides here. Now you would place, let's see, let me just get this in here. You would place the dye in the side. Now the dye would actually be your font color. So whatever dye you placed in that center block that was empty, that's surrounded by the signs, would be your color of the text in the sign. So I thought that was kind of a cool idea. Now the next thing, so that would create a giant sign. Instead of just that measly little sign that's like just a block, like the size of this block, this thing would be, I don't know, maybe from here to there, it would be a giant sign, kind of like those ninja painting. You know the ninja painting you could put on your wall? It would be about that size. And I think that would be really cool. So, you know, if you, and the font would be bigger, so you could see it at a distance. So if you wanted to say something like the Scarland Museum on it, and you could see that from a distance. You would go, hey, let's all head over to the Scarlet Museum or something like that. You know, head over there. I think that would be kind of a cool idea. Because the signs now, you've got to get so close to them and things like that. So they're not always the most practical things. So let's grab our things right here. Place them in here. There we go. And I think the wool is kind of convincing. I think it is a little bit convincing. So let's not do that top row yet. Because we need to put our snow at least above the glass. So I'm going to come back later and try to remedy our problem about kind of looking kind of sloppy at the top with our container. So there we go. Let's place that there. Yeah, that just looks kind of goofy, but there. But bear with me. I'll fix that eventually. I'll try to come up with a good solution. Okay, so we'll place that there, and then we'll get out our wool again. Come up here. So next, what's our next idea? Now I know some subscribers, and I had a discussion in one of my videos about stained glass, where we could possibly take um, dye and like stain the glass, and then we would have a little bit of glass color. That might be cool. Um, let's see, what was our next project we were going to do? Oh yeah, we created the floor. We got that. So let's come back over here and get out our iron again. Let's hopefully we have enough. Or are we out? Oh man, we used it all up. Shoot. So we used one, two. Yeah, we used it all up. Hmm. So that's snow. I was hoping that wasn't. Oh, that back wall is going to be tricky. Hmm. Hmm, 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 hmm. I'm trying to think, I'm trying to decide here what I want to do for that back wall if the wool... Well, for a temporary measure, we're going to have to do this in wool. So I can get enough. I didn't think I was out of uh, the iron. Dang it. Well, I apologize, guys. That was my mistake. 
my mistake. But the next thing, so the colored um, glass, I think that would be kind of a cool thing. So you can make kind of a cool design with that. The next thing would be a more of a tropical type biome. Now we have swamps and kind of jungle biomes, but more of like a kind of a Carib maybe more of a Caribbean theme like that would be more appropriate. More That would be a better name for the biome is kind of a Caribbean theme. And on that we would find, let's see, let's get this across here. Yeah, that's perfect. Um, on that thing we would find palm trees and I think it would be really cool to have maybe a buried treasure. And let's see, what else could we do on our desert island? Maybe we could even have like a shipwreck. We could have like a ship and you could find, you know, maybe some treasure in there. I think that would be really cool. All right, so let's go up here now and let's map out how big our window will be. Let's see here. So it's three wide, so it's two spaces. Oh, okay, so it's two on each side. So yeah, we would have, you know, shipwrecks, palm trees. Oh, I think it would be really cool. Coconuts on the trees. It would, it would really be kind of unique to um, any of the other biomes. I think it would be really kind of a fun biome. I would love to build a house in, on there. All right, there we go. So let's just chop this up a little bit, get that in there. So we've got our Caribbean biome, we'll now call it. And I remember once a subscriber said kind of a savanna type biome would be cool. We wouldn't really have, I was thinking about it, uh, we wouldn't really have sand or dirt, but maybe we could have some type of lighter type dirt that could be used as the dirt. I think that would be really cool. And let's see, next thing we need to do is knock this out here. So we had that and that'd be cool. But the greatest thing and the thing I wanted the most is multiple step crafting. So what you would do is you would make multiple things. And then once you've created, I don't know. So we're talking about is like a, let's put the glass across here and catch that supplies we dropped. But you would get would be, you would build like it for a ship, like you would build a mast, the bow, different parts of the ship. And then once you were done creating all those pieces, then you would put them all together in the crafting table or maybe an advanced crafting table that had more slots and things like that. And you could create a decent sized boat. And I think that would just, that would just be the, what's, what's that crazy word people used, used to use? The bee's knees. I think that would be just awesome. And maybe even uh, eventually you could build, um, uh, let's see, maybe a hot air balloon or some type of flying craft. Maybe we'll find that in Minecraft 4, or not Minecraft 4, you know, like some future, future version of Minecraft or something. But I think that would be really cool to have like an advanced crafting where it took a couple steps to get to your end goal. And maybe it had a different style crafting bench you would have to go to. I think that would just, that would just be cool. That's just my opinion. And I just always wanted to have some type of plane, some type of boat that, you know, you could get a couple people on maybe if you're on a server and go on an adventure, go to Jurassic Park, you know, there we go. All right. Open that. Beautiful. Well, guys, I think that's just about it. I think we have created an awesome freezer storage room. I was thinking also possibly in the future, we could actually make some of these for food or we could get them for, uh, what else could we get it for? We could get, um, now we've sprung a leak over here. Now the other side has never sprung a leak, so I'm kind of surprised about that. Huh, well, where were we? So I think maybe we could make another design kind of like this for meat and different things like that. But there we go, we've got our sapling storage room. And for some reason we're having a few technical difficulties with this side getting melted but I have not had the problem on this side at all. So I'm gonna have to try to figure out why that is. And I always really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch my videos. And until next time, we'll see you later. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter.